So you're nearly there. Uh, you've ne just got the assessment to go for the uh, level two NCEA standard related to the quantitative analysis of organic compounds in wines. So this short video will just uh, summarize uh, what the expectations are around the assessment and how to achieve uh, and achieved a merit or an excellence. So in terms of the assessment, um, basically you're going to have to identify two unknown organic compounds by the functional groups that they consist of. Okay, and you'll write essentially two reports for two of the unknown compounds that you'll be given. So in terms of the report, uh, you're going to have to describe the steps to identify the functional groups or the steps you went through to identify the functional groups using the chemical tests we've been exploring. A description of the observations you saw um, to in those chemical tests uh, for the unknowns. Um, then from that, determine the functional groups that um, are present uh, in your sample and therefore what the compound is. And you'll actually be given a list of the potential compounds in the sample for the assessment. Uh, the equations using the structural formulae are for the reactions that occur. Okay, only for positive reactions when you see an actual positive result. And a justification of the choice of functional group that you've, you've said that your, your unknown has are based on those chemical test results uh, and also uh, on the chemical properties of the reactions. So, for example, for a carboxylic acid, what, why is it uh, forming bubbles of carbon dioxide? And finally, a discussion on the significance of that particular organic compound present uh, only for one of your unknown samples uh, for the winemaker and the consumer. Okay, so you're going to have basically two unknowns to find. You'll be given an hour for each of the unknowns uh, and to write the report. Okay, and you'll also be provided with a uh, analysis uh, record sheet or resource which has half equations and the compounds that are potentially present uh, in the samples. So in terms of the assessment, uh, which I'll break down um, more clearly into achieve merit and excellence soon, that is the basic rubric. Okay, so pause the video now and uh, make yourself familiar um, what is required for both achieved merit and excellence uh, in this internal standard. Okay, so just breaking it down, uh, in terms of achieved, uh, you, for each report, you must include the following. A description of the steps you use to determine the functional or functional groups that are present and therefore what the unknown compound is. Uh, also the observations that you saw when you were doing those particular steps which justify the choice um, of functional group that you have and therefore name the functional group or groups uh, that are present and therefore the, the compound that is present and why you came to that conclusion. And finally, a discussion in the significance of uh, the organic compound present for only one of your samples uh, for the winemaker or the consumer. You just have to choose uh, the winemaker or the consumer for one of your samples, unknown samples. So in terms of merit, it gets a little bit more complicated. Okay, so just as for achieved, um, describing the steps and describing observations for your chemical quantitative tests. Uh, and then also again, like achieved, naming uh, the formula of the functional groups um, that are present and therefore the compound that is present. Um, but now you have to include the equations using the structural formula for both the organic reactions and products for all the reactions that are positive, that actually occur. So for example, the oxidation reduction reactions, um, the half equations and full balanced equations or full equations. Uh, and then identification of the uh, functional groups is justified by linking the chemical test results, but also the types of reactions and the products and reactants that are formed. So again, um, so for again carboxylic acid uh, reacting with uh, sodium carbonate, for example, uh, what products are formed, the salt, for example, and carbon dioxide gas, and what kind of reaction this is, this is an acid-base uh, reaction. Okay, so it's a carbonate reacting with a carboxylic acid. And then the discussion becomes a little more in depth. Uh, you have to have the significance of, an, of one of the organic compounds um, for the winemaker and the consumer. So you could have it so you have uh, one unknown, you discuss the implication for the winemaker, and for the other, um, you have the implication for the consumer. Okay. And finally, for excellence, 
Um, the same as for achieved uh, and merit, so description of steps involved, description of the observations, the name or formula of the functional groups identified, and the compound. Uh, now you have to balance the equations, okay, um, instead of just having the equations there. And the justification becomes a little more complex because now linking to the research that you've also done. So, for example, the idea that um, Shiraz, for example, is more acidic, okay, which can neutralize amines, for example. So it's all that research you've been doing, that prior research can get into the discussions and also into the discussion of the functional groups. So the increased acidity, for example, if there's two carboxylic acid groups compared to one when you're talking about malic and lactic acid. And finally, a discussion of the significance of the organic compound present in uh, one of your identified samples, but you have to discuss it for both the winemaker and the consumer. So that's only for one compound, whereas in merit, you could kind of mix and match. Okay, so hopefully that kind of clears up a little bit of confusion around what's required for this assessment. So awesome, good luck. Uh, of course, you won't need luck because you put the effort in, and I hope you all get excellence.